to the No Face Movement, and it's June the 8th, 2019. I started my No Face Movement channel back in 2010. My original channel that ended in 2014, and it got deleted. All my videos, there's some videos out there floating around. Um, I did a couple backup channel where some videos that were very important are still hanging around. It's hard to find them. Um, that's why I always tell you guys, please subscribe. Please like my videos. Please copy my videos and share it on your own channel. Alright. Um, I'm the originator. Um, half the people I do conspiracy videos nowadays came off me. And there's still conspiracy videos nowadays um, because they don't show you guys the facts. Alright, folks. All you guys do is listen to someone talking what's going to happen. The difference always between my channel and everyone else's channel as I actually show you guys what's going on around the world, and I show you the facts, all right? At this moment in time, on June 8th, 2019, we are living in the end of days. We are living at the end of the world, and this is what's going to occur. Like I said, I started my original channel in 2010, when my channel uh, got deleted off YouTube because YouTube deleted and deleted everything. I had 1.8 million subscribers. All my videos, I show you guys the facts. I show you guys the government, what they're doing. All right. You guys can see it yourself. I put the links down below. All right. So this is what's happening right now. All right, folks. So right now, when you type in, because ocean waters all of a sudden is 30 degrees warmer this year than last year. And when you type that in, you got the Weather Channel saying, where will all the water go? You got USA Today saying, the end of civilization. Climate change apocalypse could start by 2050 if we don't act and report warnings. And you can see this. Even Alaska, six days ago, had record-breaking heat. Now, global warming is BS. And I'm going to tell you that straight. We are the third planet from the sun. The sun keeps on growing. Our planet keeps on growing, too. All planets keep on growing. I heard, folks, that's one thing. Before there was a uh, ice age, the earth was originally warm. After the ice age, well, you see what's happening, right? And now the ice is completely melting away. All right. But that's not the problem. All right. Yes, global warming is a problem, but we cannot stop it. Even if we stop all the pollution in the world, it's not going to stop the melting of the ice because the sun keeps on growing. All right. Like I said back in 2011 and 2010, on December the 21st, 2012, we are going to align with the Central Galactic Plane. And from 2012 to the year 2025, we are going to see the worst destructions on our planet that ever been recorded. And now people think it's normal. Even three years before, from 20. 2009 to 2012, we've seen some of the mass destruction while we we're lining up with the Central Galactic Plane. And even after 2025, when we get out the Central Galactic Plane, we are still going to see destruction. All right, folks. But the greatest destruction from a comet, from the asteroid, is going to happen in April 2029. So let's get to it. Um... About this year, about the end of America, about the end of our economy, if you're living in the Western countries. So let's get into this, folks. This is from uh, space.com. All right. And this is last year, June the 20th, 2018. The links are going to be at the bottom like they always are. 
Um, this is NASA's new plan to detect and destroy asteroids before they hit the Earth. And I'm showing you this article because this was a year before NASA had their plan. Um, how every single year from now, from 2019 to 2029, um, they're going to develop a plan. They're going to get stronger with these plans to get rid of incoming asteroid or meteorites that could effectively destroy the Earth. And this is from 2018. All right. When you move on to the next article, and this is NASA's website. It's called Planetary Defense Conference Exercise 2019. And this is the first one. And they're going to have them for the next 10 years before the asteroid in 2029 hit our Earth. And they're going to try to defend our Earth. Alright. And I'm trying to make this video before they delete these links. Before they delete these uh, proof of what's really going on. While half you people are asleep out there. The 2019 PDC Hypothetical Asteroid Impact Scenario. A hypothetical asteroid impact scenario will be present at the 2019 IAA Planetary Defense Conference to be held in College Park, Maryland, USA, April 29th to May the 3rd, 2019. Now from these days, 10 years... But at the beginning, from April the 13th to May the 3rd, 2029, a real asteroid, this is what these conferences are about, called Pothos, is going to hit Earth or come within the window. So we must defend the Earth from this. And this will be the end of the world, folks. All right. So in this article, they talk about how they're going to defend the Earth, what they're going to do. They're coming up with hypothetical ideals. And they're going to put it to work, all right, as soon as possible for the next 10 years. And they're going to use the best scenario to defeat Apophis 2029. That's when it comes in. All right, folks. Um, now, when you go to CNN, they just straight out tell you, a giant asteroid name after the god of death will whiz by Earth in 10 years. All right. See you in 10 years. This is what CNN says. According to the latest data from NASA, the Earth has a long distance date with a 1,100 foot wide asteroid in 2029. The giant space rock has the fitting code name 99942 Apasa, the Greek name for Egyptian serpent god hell bent on swallowing the sun, for the record. It also the name of the Stargate SG 1. All right. When you look down below, they show you the path. It's going to come 19,000 miles away from Earth. And everyone thinks, oh, that's far distance. Remember this. The moon is at 239,000 miles, and it still is affected by our gravity because it goes around our planet Earth. Our gravity affects the moon by holding it in. And this thing is going to come 10, 20 times closer than the moon to Earth and our gravity. And it's coming from the South Pole. Alright. The reason they shoot rockets or anything in the outer space. Alright. They all shoot it in Florida or any place near the equator. The closer you get to the poles, the more gravitation pull you got. And the farther you wait, get away from the poles towards the equator, the less gravitation you got on rockets or anything coming near Earth. That's why they shoot rockets near the equator. Even if countries got space programs, they might shoot it in other countries like Russia, might shoot it someplace else, their rockets to space near the equator, not near the North Pole or South Pole. All right. This is from NASA. Again, this is NASA, official government website for the United States of America. Scientists playing now for asteroid flyby a decade away. And you can see it. And they don't even put it in the close where 
our gravity will suck it in. They just put it right on the outside. You see that? All right. But the truth is, 19,000 miles away, our Earth is going to affect it. And it's going to end up in the northern hemisphere. As we get closer to the day, if our country is still here and I'm able to produce these videos, I will tell you where it's going to hit in the northern hemisphere. All right, folks. But the Apostle Close approach. All right, this week at the 2019 Planetary Defense Conference in College Park, Maryland, scientists are gathering to discuss authorization plans and science opportunity for the celestial event still a decade away. During session on April 30th, scientists will discuss everything from how to observe the event to a hypothetical mission we could send out to the asteroid. So basically, NASA is now admitting during this planetary defense conference that they're gathering evidence for this decade away asteroid because it's going to come and it's going to hit Earth, folks. So this whole planetary defense conference is about this asteroid. All right. And NASA is even saying it. The links are going to be at the bottom. Now, about a week or two ago, a mile-wide asteroid with its own mini-moon will swing close, but not too close, to the Earth this weekend. All right. And you can see it. Look at the picture. Remember this picture because I'm going to show you again through NASA's thing. All right. And this thing did not hit the Earth or nothing like that. But they put it out in the news. All right. Because it's a unique body asteroid because it has its own moon and its own walnut. But the reason they put it in the news is to tell the people that know really how to read the news what's really going on, folks. All right. They're using that asteroid. To do a uh, dart on. After the 2019 conference at the beginning of May and the end of April, from April 30th to May the 3rd, like we were just talking about, like this, like I said, they're coming up with plans to defend our Earth from an asteroid. Alright. With the dart, it's really called dart, but this is its full name Double Asteroid Redirection Test Dart Mission. The double asteroid redirection test mission is directed by NASA to apply physical laboratory with support from several NASA centers. All right. DART is a planetary defense driven test of technology for preventing an impact of Earth by a hazardous asteroid. DART will be the first demonstration of the kinetic impact technique to change the motion of an asteroid in space. The DART mission is in Phase C, led by APL and managed under NASA's Solar System Exploration Program and Marshall Space Flight Center for NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office. And they just had NASA Planetary Defense thing for that asteroid Apostle. All right. And the links are going to be at the end. Now look at this. This is uh, 1999. KW4, all right, and they're calling it a different, but it still looks like a walnut with its own moon. And when you get closer, there's a real picture, like I just showed you on seeing that. I told you, don't forget that picture. And what happened? So they made this asteroid go into space. They were able to move this mile wide asteroid into space, and they're able to cause a piece of this asteroid come towards Earth. All right, and people are like, oh, wait. You guys are like, oh, wait, we would hear if an asteroid came to Earth or hit Earth or anything like that. They were able to dissolve it or did whatever they did with it over Australia into the ocean. All right. With this DART program, what they were trying to do is move the asteroid and destroy a piece of the asteroid and move it towards Earth. All right. With the piece of the asteroid that they moved towards Earth. They were going to destroy it. And they did destroy it. Alright folks. And this is what happened. In May. A massive meteorite. As powerful as a nuclear bomb. Crashed into the sea in Australia. 
And that was just the piece of the asteroid that I was telling you about. 1999. KW4. Alright, folks. And the links are going to be at the bottom. You can read the rest. Alright, folks. So, what we're discussing about is down in the world. This is breaking news. Alright. And this happens in 2029. You got a decade to plan for this. Alright. But what else is happening to the earth is happening now in the moment of time. Alright. Um, from there's a massive underwater volcano that did they discovered. Alright. Off Africa in November 11, 2018. It's growing bigger. And they don't even understand why. We're going to make more videos about that. To our vice president. I'm sorry about that, folks. Give me one second. To our vice president, Mike Pence, predicts war everywhere in the next few years. All right, we're going to do more videos about Mike Pence and this. This is the vice president of the United States telling the graduate people at West Point on May the 25th that there is going to be war everywhere in the next few years. We're going to do deeper research and give you guys the facts on that. All right, folks. Now, this is what's happening. In the next week or two, in June, we're about to see everything that you love prices go up. If you're making minimum wage, you ain't going to be able to survive what is coming your way. In the next year, all the way up to June 2020 and beyond that, we are going to see the end of the United States of America. So in the next week or two, if anyone out there with it here, listen, stack up on food, stack up on clothes, stack up on survival stuff. At the moment, we're about to enter a cold war with China through tariffs. Everything that you get, basically, all your technology, all your clothes, all your shoes come from China, folks. Like I said, in the next week or two, the prices are going to go skyrocket. Your favorite stores within the next year are going to go bankrupt from the tariffs China and the United States got on each other. All the started from Donald Trump. All right. And within the next week or two, we're about to see our food go up so crazy like we've never seen before. And it ain't from tariffs. It's from our weather. Here we go. Let's get into this. We are living in the end of time for these Western civilization. We are living in the end of times where our economy is about to collapse. Our economy is about to collapse from June. Within the next few weeks, our economy is about to collapse. Where your money ain't good no more. Where if you got a dollar bill, a hundred dollar bill in your pocket right now. All right. From the second and two weeks from now, from June the 6th, 2019, between June the 6th, 2019 to November, we are definitely going to see our economy collapse. All right, folks. Um, it ain't just our economy, our food too. All right. Within the next two weeks, even if our economy don't collapse within the next two weeks, I'm giving a warning for our economy to collapse from the next two weeks, so 14 days from June the 6th is June the 20th. So from June the 20th, 2019 till November 2019, our economy is definitely going to collapse. All right. And we're definitely going to go to war so we can keep our economy up and floating. All right. That's the only way we can keep our economy up and floating. All right. As if we go to war. And regain lands that produce the stuff that we need in the United States of America. And that's what Donald Trump wants to do. But no matter what, within the next two weeks, mark my words. So even next week it could happen. The following week it's definitely going to happen. So definitely, 100%. And this ain't no lie. In two weeks, 
we're about to see our food prices soar. All right, um, this is from the street. How the rain soaked the Midwest will crush the corn crops and some prices jumping. Our corn is in almost everything we eat. From your breakfast cereal to your buns to everything. Um, the wheat we're about to see hop. All our food in the Midwest all the way down. All right. Um, here's some more. Um, this is from a real news source. And Fox 59, wherever that is. Crop plants are behind schedule as the Midwest farms battle for more. All right, folks. So the Midwest and the Central Plains, down south, the rain hasn't stopped yet. All right, there's floods all over this country. Even if you ain't a farmer living in these states, the rain itself has soaked the ground so bad they cannot plant seed. And it's going to affect our food within the next two weeks. All right. So right now, the next week, and the next week, I'm telling you, after that week, it's over, folks. So within the next week, I'm telling you, go out, buy all the food you can. All right. All, if you're on a minimum wage paycheck, all right. Go out and buy food so you and your kids could eat. Because your minimum wage paycheck can't even buy even for two days or three days after the next week and a half. How much a one one ear of corn is going to cost. It's not going to pay how much your Kellogg corn freak is going to cost. It ain't going to pay any of that stuff. Because the flood that is happening in the Midwest and the Central Plains. All right, it ain't just the flood, it's just the rain. It done soaked the ground so bad, the farmers are way under schedule. And if they hadn't had it in the ground at the beginning of June, there ain't no point of having it in the ground at all because it can't fully grow because of our winters in the Midwest and the Central Plains. So we are living in the end of the Western society. Like I said, with our economy, is going to collapse by November. The Dow keeps on sinking, going up and down, up and down. It just keeps on staying at a mid-level. All right, folks. And when it stays at a mid-level, it hasn't had growth. That's what's called a recession. What we're experiencing now in the United States of America by November is going to be Greater than the recession in 2008 when the big three collapse. This recession that we're about to experience is going to be double what the Great Depression was for the United States of America and the rest of the world during the 30s before World War II. All right. War is the answer to any depression, anything, because war is when a country goes out, claim land. And use their resources for himself to feed their people. That is what war is, folks. All right. And what we're about to experience in the next few months is crazy. All right. Next thing, what's wrong with our world? All right. If you go on Google, that tells you all this. Our economy is going to crash and all that stuff between June and November 2019. Um... NASA done found a forbidden planet. All right. What we call Planet X. So they don't found Planet X. And what's crazy about it is that it affected the moon. An ancient space. This is from Fox News. Ancient space collision caused mystery moon anomaly. They finally admit that there is a planet X. A planet Nibiru with its own planet that comes through our solar system. All right. They finally admit it. So that means that something that major is on its way. There are two distinct sides or faces of the moon. One is largely marked with craters while the other is choked full of open basins. Now a new study suggests that an ancient Celestial body is the cause of the mystery anomaly, published in the journal Geophysical Research Planets. The study 
The study suggests that a large body, perhaps an ancient planet or asteroid, crashed into the moon and gave it its distincting feature. All right. So they're admitting that there used to be a planet with its own moons or whatever came through and hit the moon. All right. And now this is crazy. Our sun's mystery 11-year cycles appear to be driven by alignment of planets. What I've been warning you guys about the central galactic plane, it is coming true. And here you go. Science.com. All right. And the reason for all these econom uh, all these great storms, all this stuff, including HARP, that's having effect on it. But it's mainly from the central galactic plane. You can read it there. When you Google ancient uh, space collision, they're talking. You could just see all the news, the real news. All right. Um, so there is a planet X, a Nibiru, whatever you want to call it, that comes through our solar system every few thousand years that affects our Earth, that had a collision with the moon, that created our asteroid belt. So now the facts are true. All right. Um, U.S. farmers are facing food and tariffs. Like I said, this is the biggest thing right now. Our economy is going to collapse by November 2019. All right. I'm warning you all this. All right. Um, it's happening, folks. All right. Um, I want everyone out there to be prepared. Hey, this week or next week, go get all the food you can. Go get plant it. Go get seeds. All right? Because you ain't going to be able to afford what food's about to go up to. Your kids ain't going to enjoy corn next year or bread. Next year, for one piece of corn, is going to be $5. Within the next two weeks, you're about to see corn... Going from what, 35 cents a, for one year up to a dollar. And by next year, after this disastrous season, it's going to go up to five, six, seven dollars if our money is still good from the economy collapse. All right, folks, so I'm warning you all to stack up on food within the next week. I am warning you all to stack up. For stuff in your house. Before these tariffs kick in. Within the next week from China. Your Air Jordans. Your fucking Adidas. Your Nike shoes. Whatever shoes you get. Anything that says made in China. From Donald Trump. The tariffs that just went up to. 200, 300%. So is he going to put businesses out of. Uh, out of businesses. It's going to affect. Our economy is already in a recession. It's about to get way worse. Our economy is about to crash by November. Our dollar bill and the global money is going to be shit. All right. We're all going to go to war with each other to get this stuff. All right. And our food is going to be so crazy by next year. It ain't going to be funny. So please hit that like button, subscribe. This is the No Face Movement. Moving the movement to next time. Facing off.